He didn't even assemble a CB radio. That's what I'm talking about. What is going on? What is this base? What kind of what kind of a sick joke is this? Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's me, Episaric, and welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So as you can see, raiders are attacking my base because I did not pay them. I just gave them literally one piece of trash. And you might be like, oh my god, Tark, you're lying. But right now on your screen, you can see the footage of how I paid raiders just with trash. They got upset, and now they're gonna attack my base. But little did they know is that I prepared this small room for them. This is gonna be the trap room. They're gonna enter here and then I'm just gonna block them and they won't be able to escape because I'll be able to take my MGL. I'm gonna take my grenade launcher. I'll shoot through that window. I'm gonna kill at least one of them and then they're gonna get confused. So we will see. I left them here an electronic circuit, some aluminum wires as a bait. Hopefully they're gonna get that bait. So I guess we're just gonna wait a couple of minutes and then we will go and kill those raiders. And after that, we're gonna do revenge raid because for some reason, raiders haven't given me a good raid in a really, really long time and I haven't killed these raiders in a really, really long time. So today I'm gonna get my revenge and after that we'll do our revenge raid pretty cool right both revenges <laughs> what am i talking about you know what while we are waiting for raiders why not take a shower la, 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 la. i just realized that i did not take any swat armor so let's go quickly equip my swat armor here we go it's supposed to be somewhere over here yes indeed we got some swat armor let's equip that bad boy and let's go all i know is that i will have to kill them pretty quickly because they will start chopping down walls and uh, i don't want that so here go raiders will be at my base in one minute and 40 seconds so i guess see you when raiders will be attacking my base so here go raiders are gonna be into a base in three two one zero here we go gonna enter the base right now hopefully raiders are gonna spawn and hopefully i'll have enough time to hide at least in my room without them attacking me so here we go gonna go over here uh, gonna unzoom right now let's can you zoom out here we go let's go for some reason it's not working the building mode is pretty trashy here we go dig in while it's cheap what thought you can get away with it so easily yes indeed uh, okay one of them is gonna come inside both of them are coming inside yes indeed gonna do two shots Gonna do milk or a shot and get oh forgot forgot to actually block them. I'm an idiot Don't want to fail here. Here go did this. Let's go one two here go gonna heal up now mill core shot Obviously here go one of them is dead and they got gone Confused. Just look at that. They're totally confused. Hey guys, I thought my digging. What is he doing? Why is he talking over everything? Thought you can get with it that way so easily. It definitely lagged now. It definitely lagged. Okay, you know what? Now we're done. We can just take our time to kill them pretty much properly. I do know that you can kill all of them just with one Milkora shot, but you know what? I have here eight grenades, so we're gonna kill all of them just with one grenade most likely. But this is what we are gonna do. These raiders are kind of dumb, so we're gonna go craft here another room. Is it only me or now it's really harder to build stuff in last than earth i don't know maybe they're gonna fix it because it's really hard to move it's really hard to build some stuff whatever let's place here two other walls because if i just place a door they're gonna escape and just to be cautious just to be 100 sure that they're not gonna escape i'm gonna build here now another wall gonna delete this and gonna delete this wall look at that isn't that beautiful and there are two raiders one on top of another so i think that i'm gonna get rid of my milk ore. i will definitely get rid of this i will just take my grenades and i will take a v VSS just in case, you know, if they start attacking me. You know what? I can't take a VSS because I want to start punching them. Is it possible to punch their health like to 50 and then we're going to be able to destroy them with one grenade? Yes, indeed. We can do two health, two damage for them. And as you can see, when we punch one guy, another one just separates kind of. So there are two dudes in one room. Well, I'll probably damage one dude to like maybe 50 health to like maybe 60 or something. Because I do know if you drop their health below 50, they start healing themselves with their first aid kit. Well, I think we, I'm going to even show you that they're going to heal themselves up after 50. 50 health. That's why you need a grenade or a milk ore in order to kill them because look at that. If I'm gonna damage him one more time, he's just gonna... Here we go. He just healed himself up. I showed this for the sakes of edutainment, education, and entertainment. So this is the reason why turrets don't work. Why I even think using turrets on these raiders isn't really that worth it. Because they're just gonna start attacking turrets. Turrets are just gonna attack them. And they're still gonna heal up every time the health just drops below 50. So up to 50. So you know what? Now let's damage them quickly with fists up to 52 health. Here we go. One of them is at 52. Will I be able to get another raider? By the looks of it, I cannot take another raider. This is really so annoying. I cannot kill another raider just like that, but I do have my grenade here. Go say hello to grenade you little schmuck here. Go We're gonna throw here a grenade gonna get out of here And one of them is definitely gonna die. Look at that one of them just died and another dude just healed up for some reason They're twitching here. We go. Okay. He just attached with his head to another dude. Whatever now gonna damage this raider once again I'm pretty sure we could even break their armor just like that with fizz But you know what who cares about it? I could just probably do two shots with vss and save more armor But hey, it's more fun just to punch them with fizz here. We go one dude is almost dead gonna throw now 
here another grenade and they're just gonna explode into tiny little smithereens here we go they all exploded Boom! Very nice, they all died. We have three dead bodies over here and one full durability VSS. Another almost full durability VSS. And this one is almost another full durability VSS plus three full SWAT armors. This is super beautiful. And as you can see, we definitely damaged their SWAT armor. So I think next time I am not going to be punching them with this. It's just it was pretty fun, you know, to beat them up for all the garbage raids that they've given me. And I totally forgot to do one thing, dude. I should have definitely called raiders. Wait, I wanted to see if it's even possible to call raiders why whilst they were locked in my room. But they're still here, right? They're still dead and we still can loot their bodies. Will I be able to loot? Will I be able to call raiders and their bodies are still going to stay here? Well, there's only one way to find out. Out. Let's go. Let's find raiders on the radio here. Yes, indeed. We can call raiders. Let's accept that boop. And if they are gonna spawn, I want to see if the bodies will disappear. I've already looted everything. I picked up the most valuable stuff. I mean, they just have two backpacks. I believe that maybe the bodies will disappear. We'll see. We'll see. Well, here we go. Raiders have just spawned. These are the task bada bingus. And by the looks of it, those bodies just stayed. So look at that. These are the same raiders, basically. They just spawned here once again. They have no clue what's going on. They aren't really the smartest, right? And we got a hatchet, right? They took they had a hatchet. We got a free hatchet it from them because one of these dudes started chopping down chests so that's why we also got a free hatchets from these raiders i've also heard from some people saying that if you're gonna build here a level three wall they will uh, as soon as they start exploding walls or something you can kill them and get a c4 from them i don't know if that's if that's true if that's even possible to do it but one day i would definitely love to try that here we go we're gonna be rating this player 6270 and i did take enough hatchets and i took one c4 just in case but by the looks of it i won't need any c4s also, I forgot to take a chopper. So I took the chopper and let's run to this base. And hopefully I'll be able to get some sort of decent loot. But the only thing that I've seen is that I need to use only one level one hatchet to enter the base. But I still took just in case one more C4 because this base looks like it has a lot of and a lot of stone walls. So just in case, if this is a bit different base that I've seen on YouTube, I'll be able to explode it. But I'm still gonna leave this C4 inside of the chopper because I might definitely explode some walls. So let's start off this raid by checking out the truck. And truck is... Wow, truck definitely has some sort of items. I wanted to say that we are not gonna get anything but we already got some water you might say sark is just water but again this truck had something nice usually trucks have nothing and i usually say that look at that we got nothing that means raid is gonna be garbage but we got a truck dude that's pretty cool wait what is this place what is this thing inside of it i don't understand okay this is probably a meat meat dryer or something like that so there's this level one wall let's try to chop it down and maybe maybe i believe we'll be able to open up this full base just with this one level one hatchet and yes indeed this full base no man are you kidding me? No! I'll need to craft a hatchet. A freaking pickaxe, dude. Is this real? I gotta craft a pickaxe to enter the base because there's this, like, iron ore for some reason. Oh my goodness. This is something that I not signed up for, but hey. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some stones. So, okay, I just need two extra stones and I'll be done. Here we go. One stone. Second stone. Let's craft a pickaxe. I started to panic there a little bit. I thought that I will have to use my C4 to enter the base. Okay, so the top ones, there are two level two doors. Uh, not two level two doors, but the two level to walls pretty cool I'm not sure if this dude is a hacker or what's going on with it. I do know that some of you might say, well, Sark, he had level one wall. He would have all the base with metal if it was a hacker. He has these uh, metal floors for some reason. I don't understand what's going on. So to be honest, I don't know if it's a hacker and I don't care at all. Okay, we just destroyed this thingy and now he's gonna have only three chests inside to open up and that's it. Is this seriously full base? Uh, I guess. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna chop this. Okay, we're gonna pick up the berries, right? And we will start the... He didn't even assemble a CB radio. That's what I'm talking about. About how this is not a hacker, dude. What is going on? What is this base? What kind of what kind of a sick joke is this? You know what? I'm gonna chop down this chest and we'll see. We'll see what I'll get inside. Like, I'll be happy just to get some items. We got some wood. I mean, okay. And two stacks of bandages. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's definitely cool. Okay, wave of zombies have just spawned. You know, so far for a revenge raid where I did not have to use any C4s, it's definitely pretty cool to get such a great loot. Okay, let's eat the berries, boop. And now I will start chopping down other chests here. Go, let's delete this chest. And let's see. Let's see. And inside, we just got one electronic circuit. Most likely, this is the same electronic circuit that they stole from me. So I did not gain anything yet. And let's go. Let's delete the last chest. And 
get inside of it. We got some three guns, right? Decent. Might not be super amazingly decent, decent, but like definitely better than nothing, man. He doesn't even have any workbenches. Seriously, this dude doesn't even have a woodworking bench. How did he build this base? I don't know. And there will be still people saying that, you know, he's not a hacker. He's just grinding or like some whatever other thing. Because whenever I made a video and I called them, it's a hacker. I got so much hate saying, well, psych, they're just grinding where, whilst their ATV is literally standing on a ground, not on the level three floor. <laughs> well, this raid definitely gets a huge pass from me. I didn't have to use any C4s and I got pretty decent loot. So we'll go for the chopper event very soon, but I just wanted to say that thank you so much for all the likes on the last video where I said that I need some motivation to do 99 waves. And I said that likes motivate me. Thank you so much for all that motivation. You crashed those like buttons. I see your all comments. Thank you so much guys for all your support. So welcome to the chopper event. Let's go. Let's play some gasoline because I forgot to place it in our chopper. And this is going to be the same kidnappers. Okay, this is not kidnappers chopper event, but this is like something weird. Like these dudes have this dude here. They just killed him. And you know what? I'm going to kill these dudes in return and going to take all of their guns. Bada bingus. Here go. They're all dead. Let's take the aluminum. Let's take the first aid kit and some more aluminum. Let's take a shotgun and let's take an AK and more first aid kits. This is seriously such a great event. Can't wait to assemble my chopper in my new account. This way we'll be able to get rich even faster. And inside of this chopper, we got a Glock. We got some more aluminum and we got this box. And you know what we're going to do with this box. But I got to know what you're going to do with the box. Then you must be pretty new over here. But no worries. I got you. I'm back at the base. And this is why I'm collecting these boxes right now. As you can see, I have a special trunk and I want to open up full trunk of these weapon crates at the same time. I think that's going to be pretty epic. So that's why I'm collecting them. So I highly suggest you checking out this 300 IQ play video in Last Day on Earth. Just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Click here on the second card and you'll watch a funny video about mercenaries. Or make sure to go to my playlists. Just go to my channel playlist and there you're definitely going to find a lot of other games that I've played and you're going to find some series about Last Day on Earth. Smash likes.